Good morning, party people. I am here actually in Oregon right now. However, I have not discounted returning to the Seattle area to help people that I didn't get to finish with and get things taken care of for them. So if you're in the Seattle area or within an hour of Seattle, any direction, I will go back to Seattle in a couple of days, move south. I was getting so many messages from people just in the travel vicinity of my plans that I got behind on getting messages. I don't want to miss anybody. I don't come out this way often. So I am regrouping and I'm going to go through all these messages to make sure that nobody slips through the cracks and we'll get together. If you need some help, get that stuff taken care of. If you want to have a meet and greet, connect, have a little fun, and just enjoy any time that we could spend together. So, I've had a couple people ask me, when am I going to do a formal introduction to my new ride? If you're a Patreon member, those videos have already been uploaded to Patreon. I will release them to the general public after I get back to Cincinnati. I, that's just what I decided to do. You know, I normally don't do special things for the people in the Patreon site. But I decided to do that this time. So that's where those videos are. Everybody will see them later. But the Patreon people get to enjoy them. And one of the reasons I did that is to allow the vehicle to be a surprise to the people that I see. So if we are scheduled to have a meet and greet... We're scheduled to do some work for you. We're scheduled to help you with some things you're taking care of. When I show up, you get the upfront live surprise of why I flew to Seattle to get this vehicle. It's a little fun. Just having a little fun. You know, so you don't have to do the Patreon to see it. You're going to see it later. And more exciting, I think you'll be when you see it in person if we're going to connect. So that's why that's there. It is what it is. So if you're interested in connecting with me, call or text. Again, I got behind on getting my messages. A lot of people did not connect with me for whatever reason until after I got to the Seattle area. I'm not a very organized person, so it became an organizational disaster. So I'm going through all these messages, all these emails, all of my text messages, so that I can organize and plan this trip so that hopefully I won't miss anybody. You know, I don't come out here often, and if you need help, I want to help you. So, gives you a little bit more time, get your parts. I ordered a bunch of parts from IPD. I thought I ordered a bunch of parts from IPD to do some work on this car so this car could be safe and comfortable for me and Diane. The parts arrived. Half the things I thought I ordered wasn't in my package. The website tricked me. It was early in the morning. I thought, wow, I click on this. I get all these parts. Man, that's a low price. I click on it, throw it in my basket, pay for it. It's delivered. It don't have half what I need. So now I got to place another order. Wait for that. So I'm guilty. I don't have my parts. <laughs> I know the feeling. That's why I say, if you need help getting your parts, let me know. Hopefully between the two of us, You'll have all your parts because I don't have all mine. So anyway, I got to make another order, get it delivered overnight so that I can finish the work on this car and have this car safe and comfortable for Diane to finish making this trip. Wow. I didn't even see that coming. So anyway, hope you enjoyed today's clips. Call or text me if you want to connect. And hey, if you don't see the car live or you're not in the Patreon site, you'll see it later on. Thanks for watching. Again, good morning. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. What's happening party people? I am kicking off the day in Seattle, Washington area, headed to Bainbridge Island. 
I come down here to catch the ferry, it was still dark. The ferry schedule said a ferry leaves every 35 minutes. I got here, missed the 705. They said the next one is not till 855. <laughs> they lost a boat inside the commission. I'd rather them take that boat down and for maintenance. I'd rather them take that boat down for maintenance and have me wait an hour and a half to get the next one than for that thing to get lost out that water somewhere. So, I am surely here to go over to Bainbridge Island, connect them with Michael. We are going to replace the timing belt on his S60R. He had some other questions I was able to answer, and I think we're going to have a blast over there. They claim this is a wonderful experience. Driving your car on the ferry, floating across the water, making it to the other side safely, and going around and seeing the island. Even when it's a little overcast we can almost see the sky out here which is nice usually it's probably raining out here but this morning it's not so that is a good thing so getting ready to catch this ferry excited about the day hope you're getting your parts and contacting me and we hope to see you soon if you're out here on the west coast thanks for checking in let's go check out this s60r and see how this little boat journey goes out there in the water is the ferry and these are the vehicles that are arriving from Bainbridge Island getting off of the ferry so pretty soon I'll be able to get on the ferry and we're headed to Bainbridge baby going across the water I don't know if you can see that but people are walking onto the ferry can't get my camera to see for some reason and they're getting ready to start loading cars in. It seemed like about 200 cars got off of this ferry. Here we go, folks. Where's Robert, Joe? We are getting on to the ferry. Here we go, folks. On the ferry. We are rolling right along. I'm in pole position, baby. Look at that. Man, this thing, it started off, it wasn't hardly moving, but it was loud, vibrating a little bit. Once we got rolling, it just moved right out. Seemed like we might be going about 30 miles an hour. I don't know what that is in knots you know 38 knots or something like that maybe 26 knots but we're rolling right along man I see the mountains over there and some of the mountains over here got snow on them and we're cutting across this water pretty nicely still cruising right along I can see land starting to make out a few buildings over there we are chugging baby chugging Yes, sir. Pole position, y'all. We are getting closer. Closer to land. The mountains over there on the right are kind of disappearing a little bit because of this land mass in front of us. I guess this is Bainbridge Island. Woo woo, cruising right along. We are rolling right along. Look at there. Beautiful scene. Beautiful, just beautiful. We have gone slightly to the right, headed towards some more land mass. Not sure if we're going to turn again, but let's just uh, keep it rolling. The boat has actually kind of downshifted a little bit doing a little bit more coasting than accelerating so maybe we're going to kind of bear left a little bit here because I don't see anything immediately in front of me that will indicate that we should yeah it looks like we're turning to the left here heading on into some houses and stuff man look at this beautiful beautiful area 
it's a little chilly out here probably around 42 degrees something like that but we're chugging right along going to go in here and see what's cooking whoop, whoop. I'm surprised we have some clear sky up here really pretty okay there's another ship or boat ferry off to our left here that must be the one that's broke down ah, it looked like a couple more over there somebody sent me a message that it seems like one of these things are always busted they have I guess two broke down and one working so maybe they'll get those other ones fixed we got any ferry mechanics out there There is six ferries over there, and this is the only one working. Man, we need a ferry mechanic. They've just made announcements telling people to make sure they get all their personal belongings, instructing people to get back to their vehicles. I guess those that were off of their vehicles. Saying not to start our engines until they direct us to do so. They said sometimes people see orcas out here in the water. I'm sure I would not have seen one from my little uh, car here. I would have had to go upper deck and look around off of there. But man, I'm tired. It's chilly out there. I had no thought of getting out of this car. Nice, warm, comfortable car. So anyway, we'll see how it goes when we get into port here in a couple of seconds. I'm seeing some creatures out here in the water look like some ducks I think I seen a sea lion so uh, yeah we got some living creatures out here interesting they just moved the wheel chocks from in front of me they're getting ready to let down the ropes I guess when it's time for us to start and get off of this thing I'm going to zero in my GPS to Michael's location head on over there warm up a little bit get started on that S60R baby I don't see how this is gonna work out but I guess they got it worked out we are coming in here they're trying to reverse the boat I could feel the reverse action happening we're slowing down about to get in here where they're gonna connect this thing Good to have pole position. So that worked out for video recording anyway. Lady that took my fare to get on here was real nice. And uh, man, we got nice open skies over here. So everything's going right along and smooth. Do, 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 do. For your safety, do not start motor until directed by crew. People are coming down with their bicycles. I'm going to go ahead and crack my window a little bit. A car's been starting up great, you know, so I should be good to go there. I can see the water down there moving around a little bit. And I guess they're getting ready to connect this thing so I can get off here. Letting that thing down so we can drive off. I guess these are workers getting on here. Coming up the little drawbridge. Woo, woo. Some people are starting their engines even though they haven't told us yet. Other people started their cars up. He said I could start it up. Wasn't really concerned about directing me. They're getting it ready for me to drive off of here. And I got my GPS ready to roll so I don't get lost. We are here with Michael's S60R. And the previous owner. 
I don't know if he was trying to cut corners, trying to do a friend a favor, whatever. But the last timing belt job on this car resulted in an aftermarket water pump. I don't know what brand it is, but Michael is probably doing himself a huge favor by replacing this prior to its service. Because this thing may not even have lasted long enough to make it through the cycle, the proper cycle. And it don't feel real smooth the way it, this water pump's turning. It's kind of notchy. And it has the black gasket of doom. Man, look at, look at that. Some of it came off. Some. Some. I don't know if, if it came off to the proper depth. But a lot of it's still on the engine. So we got the pleasure of cleaning this off. You know, it's, if you're a dental hygienist and you're doing a deep plaque scrape off of one of your patients or customers, whatever you guys call them, this is probably equivalent. So we feel your pain today. We won't tomorrow, but we feel it today. So he's going to be working on that, and I'm going to be taking care of a couple things on the car I recently purchased. I just wanted to give a quick tip to those people that are deciding to go with a aftermarket water pump and a aftermarket gasket. And I'm preaching to the choir because these people will not get this message. However, if for some reason you think Amazon has your best interests in mind when you order a timing belt kit, shake yourself and say they don't, bang your head against the wall, and get the right parts from a Volvo part supplier or the Volvo dealer. At any rate, if you're persistent on spending the same amount of money for a lower quality part, please do the next guy a favor and do not use that black water pump gasket. Get the Volvo gasket. Hey, hey, call me. I'll ship you one for free. Because I never want to see this thing again. I don't want to be the guy that has the unfortunate pleasure or probably torture of trying to get this gasket off of the block after you install the aftermarket water pump. If your engine even survived that aftermarket water pump. So, sorry you guys are watching this. Because you guys are not the ones that's doing this. But never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, never, ever install that black gasket on your water pump. Go to the dealer and get the green gasket from Volvo. And if you're too stubborn to do that, I think stubborn might be an acceptable word for you internet people. Uh, call me. Let me know. I'll mail you one. I'll pay for it. Uh, just to try to avoid the next person from having to try to get this thing off of their engine when they put the right water pump on it the next time. So, there you have it. Never use black water pump gaskets. And if you choose to do it anyway, you know, we all can't be a decent people. Uh, there's some people that suck, and that makes the decent people stand out. Everything on this S60R is hooked back up. We're trying to get the Cool it to burp a little bit so we can top that off. Got that serpentine belt on, man. That's the toughest part of this job. And we are ready to start this thing and fire it up. Got the tensioner set and everything else. Whoop, whoop. S60R with the six-speed, baby. Look at that six-speed. Woohoo! We are all done with that S60R. Took a little longer than expected. Went and got a bite to eat. Headed back to the ferry so I can continue on with this day. Go spend a few minutes with Diane, have a couple of meet and greets, and hopefully get with the lady that has that, that, has that S70 and get her vehicle taken care of so that she won't have her stalling issue. As you guys see, I got rid of that pesky light I had, low coolant light. I should have grabbed some hose from that guy that 
fix this collapse hose, I think I'm gonna double back and grab some vacuum line from him and then get this check engine light taken care of because I think it's the vacuum line. So anyway, headed back to the ferry and we will see what else we get into today. here let me go upstairs see what's this is a passenger compartment of the ferry you can look out over the waterways and they say sometimes when the ferry sees orcas it'll actually slow down to make sure it doesn't startle them see if we can find an upper deck and it has a well trail. We are heading up here. They call this the sun deck. We are behind the wind here. This is it. Woo! Look at the big city, baby! The big city! Just chilling out, cruising along. Man, I think this is actually making me a little seasick down here. But hey, we're getting across the water here, baby. Let me go back inside. Get in my car where it's warm. Yeah, it's, it's a little too chilly out there for me. I'm gonna go try to find my car before I get lost. And they push my car off the edge because I don't get back to it in time. So, hit it back to the car deck. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm pretty good sense of direction. I think my car will be over here to the, to the right. Oof. There it is. It's up there. See that Volvo wagon up near the front? And before it goes down to the lower deck, this is the upper car deck. My guess is, and I'll confirm it on the website, that there's probably uh, 225, 250 cars on this thing. So we'll see. So that's the lower deck down there. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.